I'm Mark Mullins bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. It's been named one of the safest cities in Indiana, even in the country. But Zionsville police say their goal isn't just low crime, it's no crime. And that's why the department is rolling out a new crime reduction unit. It's called SAFE, which stands for Strategically Applied Focus and Enforcement. The department began planning the unit four months ago after noticing a slight but steady uptick in crime trends over the last five years. SAFE focuses on three areas of crimes against persons, property crimes, and it will act as a liaison to other agencies. It's an investment in the town, it's an investment in the citizens, and it's just another step uh, that the Zionsville Police Department has taken to try to keep everybody safe. Captain Drake Sterling says all costs of personnel, training, and equipment for SAFE is covered by the current budget. Zionsville Police could launch SAFE as early as May. Three Indiana teams have made it to the men's NCAA tournament. Experts tell WRTV that could mean a boost in tax revenue from online betting. The American Gaming Association says 45 million Americans will wager more than a billion dollars on the tournament this year, and 87% of those bets will be made on mobile devices. Indiana is one of 30 states with a legal sports betting market. Last year brought in more than $25 million in tax revenue, more than double the year before, and experts think it will keep climbing. Even beyond March Madness, online sports betting has been growing exponentially in Indiana. January, Hoosiers bet over half a billion dollars on sports. That was an all-time record for the state, a new high. While this increase in betting is good news for the state's budget, the American Gaming Association asked that people gamble responsibly. The association also told WRTV most people are not putting all their money on their brackets. 76% of all March Madness betting will be on games and other things besides the full bracket.